Powerball Instant Millionaire is presented by R4TV Texas. Closed captioning of this presentation is provided by Long John Silvers. America's Fish Fry. And by JGN. Less than 30 minutes, one of these lottery players will attempt to win one million dollars. The only question, which one? Let's find out. Will it be representing South Carolina, Bobby McBeth? Or representing Pennsylvania, Dave Edwards? Because tonight, from the incredible Venetian Hotel in the heart of Las Vegas, this is Powerball Instant Millionaire. And now, here's your host, Don Newton. Hello, players. Hi, everybody. Good to see you. All right. Wonderful looking studio audience here. Hello there, folks at home. Welcome to Powerball Instant Millionaire. The show that could take that lottery ticket you're holding there and turn it into one million dollars just like that and that my friends is quick now we have three gentlemen on our stage here but they are not the only ones that can win money on our show no you folks at home can win thousands of dollars along the way but if anybody's going to win anything we gotta get started you know that i know that these three fellas know that so let's do that by getting to know these guys start with bobby representing south carolina you're from roebuck south carolina is that right yes, sir. And you would, uh, you'd like to buy yourself a nice antique car, huh? Yeah. You got anything in mind? Mm, maybe an old Chevy or something. Old Chevy. <laughs> it, it would just be nice to go shopping, wouldn't yeah. it? Knowing you could have any one of them. All yeah. right, Bobby, good luck to you. Good to have you here. Dave Edwards, uh, playing for his wife, Vivian. You're from Wexford, Pennsylvania. Tell me about yourself. Actually, that's playing, playing for my mother. Oh, you're playing for your mother, okay. Yes, and uh, you're from Wexfield. Tell me about Wexfield. Well... Uh, I'm from Philly. I'm from oh, Philadelphia. Okay. <laughs> so mom's there in the small mom's town. You're a big city guy. Yeah, that's right. All right, Dave. Good to have you here. And Butch Snyder from uh, New Hope, Minnesota. Now, uh, I, I want to make sure everything's okay with your hotel room. You all, you all set with towels and... Uh... I want to know how much they're going to charge me for that robe that I'm taking home. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, you can afford anything. You win that million dollars. Guys, good to have you here. We've got a good group. Let's go ahead and get started. Take a look over my right shoulder here. Going to play our version of Crazy Eight. We're going to shuffle that deck of cards and randomly deal out 18 of them, all of them between ace and eight. We'll put the fours on top of the board. And guys, you need to find a card that raises a suit. To lead you off in the right direction, here's $1,000 all the way down the line. Bobby, going to start with you. Pick a card. Let's get this game going. Uh, let me have number six, Tom. Number six? Okay, number six. Need a five or better in any suit. Is this a good card? No. That is the ace of hearts, and that will give you your first strike. Three strikes, you're out of the game. On down to Dave. Okay, let me have number five, please. All right. Now, Mom wants a good card here, so let's hope number five is something she can use. No. The ace of diamonds. We're going the wrong way, gentlemen. Butch? My son's eight years old. And I've been running eights all along, and I'm going to take the eight. All right, we're going to go with the eight. Does the eight give us our first good card? Six of spades. Yes, it does. Made our game worth over $6,000. You get $100 every time you find us a good card here. And Butch, you have the first decision of the game. You want to look for another good card and toughen things up for Bobby and Dave, or are you going to pass the board over to them? I'll take the seven. Does number, all right, number seven. Another good card here. Can we get one? Three of hearts. Yes. Thanks to that ace of hearts, the three will work for us. Another $100 for Butch. What are you going to do now, Butch? I'm going to pass to Bobby. Pass back down to you, Bobby. Well, I'll take number 14, Todd. Number 14. We've yet to see any of those eights, and we know there are four of them up there. Do we have a good one here? Yes. Two of diamonds. There we go. $100 for Bobby. Now we're on the right track. You going to play or pass, Bobby? I think I'll pass. Okay, he's going to pass. Dave? Okay, let me have uh, number 15. 15 it is. Let's get another good card here. Can we use 15? Yes, there's the first eight of the game. We like that. Locks off the suit. We won't take that down. Three eights remaining on the board. And guys, you know whoever finds the fourth one 
wins the game in $8,888. It's all yours, Dave. What are you going to do, play or pass? I'm going to pass to Butch. All right, Butch, back to you. Three. Let's go with number three. Still three eights remaining on the board. Can we find a good card here with number three? Three of clubs, no. Locked off because of the eight. That's Butch's first strike. Back to you, Bobby. I'll take number 11, Tom. 11 it is. Let's go with number 11. Do we have a good card? No. Ace of clubs. That's your second strike, Bobby. Dave. Let me have number 10. Number 10. Going right next door to number 10. And we've got the five of clubs, which also is going to cost you a strike. You have two strikes now. We're back to you, Butch. I'll try 16. 16. Let's get another one of those eights. Let's just get a good one. Can we use this one? Five of spades. No. All right, gentlemen, two strikes all the way down the line. Bobby, you need a good card or you're out of the game? Uh, may I have number 18. 18? 18. All right, 18 it is. Are you in or out with number 18? You are still in it with the eight of diamonds. Another $100 for you, but you still have those two strikes. Now, here's your dilemma, Bobby. There are two eights remaining on the board. You have two strikes. If you play and you don't find a good card, meaning a six or better in the spades, four or better in the hearts, you're out of the game. If you pass, Dave and Butch each get a shot at finding those eights. What are you going to do? I'm going to pass to Dave, Tom. All right. Let's see if it comes back to you. Dave, you need a good one or you're out of the game? Give me the number 12. 12 it is. Let's find out if Dave from PA is in or out of this game. He is in it with the eight of hearts. Dave? I'm going to pass Butch. He's going to play it safe. Save that last strike. Butch, you need six or better in the spades to keep it going here. I'll try the one. Number one. Is Butch in or out of this game? He is out with the six of clubs. That's your third strike, Butch. All right, Bobby, just between you and Dave now. Six, seven, or eight in the spades is what you need. Hmm. Todd, I'll try number nine. Number nine. Let's go with number nine. Are you in, or does Dave get the money? Dave, it's all yours, as Bobby just got his third strike. You do leave us over $1,200, though, Bobby. Butch, $1,200 for you as well. Dave, you just grabbed $5,888 for your mom, and you are one step closer to playing for a million. We are going to play high rollers right after this. Stay where you are. It's time for Powerball Instant Winner Sweepstakes. Buy your scratch-off tickets or log on to www.jgnlotto.com to enter for free and for official rules. Or call 1-800-328-WINS. You must be 18 or older to go on the website. UK, Australia, and the other countries are not participating Powerball stakes. Stay tuned to see who's the winner in the end of this episode. Just log on to jgnlotto.com slash pbim. One of these remaining lottery players hopes to become the next Powerball Instant Millionaire. Who will it be? Let's find out. Is it? Representing Oregon, Yvonne Ward. Or representing Iowa, Carissa Hayes. Or representing Delaware, Rob Sterling. Welcome back to Powerball Instant Millionaire. Welcome back to Powerball Instant Millionaire, folks. It's good to have you here. And you know what's missing here in Las Vegas, don't you? You. If you would like to join us for a taping of Powerball Instant Millionaire and go for all that money, well, it all starts by you running out after the show and grabbing yourself some lottery tickets from your local lottery retailer, and hopefully we'll see you here real soon. That's what these three folks did, and here they are. Yvonne, let's start with you. Yvonne Ward from uh, Albany, Oregon. Yes. And now, this is beautiful. If you win this money, first of all, you're going to pay back mom because she gave you all of her used tickets, right? Right. And then you're going to donate some of the money to the Aquinas Club to build some playgrounds for kids. Yeah, we do the, the playgrounds in the um, city of Albany, the playgrounds top tot spots they're called well that'd be great yeah, yeah. let's get some more tot spots there in Albany. I know. all right great. good to have you here Yvonne Carissa from Iowa 
she just laid it out for us. She wants to go to Jamaica, yeah, and she yeah. wants to go to Jamaica right now, right? That'd be nice. Yes, it would be nice. All right, well, you just think about us when you're laying there on the beach, okay? Oh, I would be. All right, yeah, I bet. I bet you'll be there. I bet we'll be the first thing on your mind as all those folks are strolling past you on the beach. Okay, Carissa, good luck to you. And Rob from Wilmington, Delaware, he likes to travel. He likes to splurge a little bit at different restaurants. Now, speaking of traveling and eating, I'm on the road quite a bit. If I come through Wilmington, where do I stop to get a nice meal? Well, it depends on what you want. It I'll it's take, there I, for you. I'm not picky. <laughs> if, they feed, if it's hot and they'll give it to me, I'll eat it. All right. So that gives me all kinds of options there. Huh? Uh, okay. All right. Good to have you here, Rob. Hope you can do a little traveling as well. Players, this is how you can win the money that you so desire. Take a look right here. We are going to play high rollers. 20 chips up there and a pair of dice under each, each chip. And they represent the values 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And we've got 10 sevens up there, but you need to roll something other than a seven. That's what we want you to do. How about $1,000 for Yvonne, Carissa, and Rob? And Yvonne, would you start the game and pick a chip for me, please? Todd, I'd like number seven. Number seven now belongs to Yvonne. We will shake up those dice. Is it something other than a seven? New. No. It is a seven, and that is the strike. Three strikes, you're out of the game. Let's go to Carissa. I'd like to choose number 20. 20. 20 it is. Give us something other than a 7. Are we off on the right track? No. We've got another 7. That's your first strike. Rob, turn it around for us. I'd like number 5, Todd. Okay. Number 5. We'll light up that chip, shake up those dice. Is it something other than a 7? Yes, it is an eye. There we go. Rob turned it around for us. Now, when you find something other than a seven, what we do is we add $1,000 to the money line, see, plus the value of the dice. And whoever brings the last two numbers to 40 or higher wins our game, wins the money. Rob, you've got us up to $2,009 here. You want to try and bring us closer to the 40 or pass to Yvonne? I'll pass to Yvonne. All right. New shooter, that's you, Yvonne. Table's yours. I'd like number 19, please. Number 19. We're 31 away from the money. Does number 19 bring us closer? Yes, I'll say with a nice 11 there, up to $3,020. Now, Yvonne has just done something wonderful. If you're lucky, you could do this in two rolls. You want to take a shot and roll the dice or save your strikes and pass to Carissa. Hope it comes back. I'm going to roll again. Okay. I want number 10. She wants to roll the dice again. Number 10 is what she likes. Does she bring us closer to the 40? No. She grabbed a second strike. Let's go to you, Carissa. I'd like to choose number 17. 17 it is. 17 is what Carissa wants to get her closer to the money. And new. She got her second strike. Rob, no strikes for you. Let's see what you can do. Todd, I pick number 16. 16. Number 16 it is. Does number 16 bring us closer to the 40? Yes, with a three. We like that. Up to $4,023. 17 away from the money. Rob, you're the only one with no strikes. The ladies both have two strikes. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to pass, Todd. You're going to pass? All right. Yvonne? I'm going to try number 11, please. Number 11. We're 17 away. Stay away from the sevens. Are you in or out of this game? You are out with your third seven, Yvonne. Thank you. <laughs> Carissa, same situation for you. You need to avoid those sevens or Rob gets all that money up there. I'd like to choose number one. Number one. We'll go to the top. Is Carissa still in this game or does Rob get all that cash? Yes, you're still in this, Carissa, with a six. Up to $5,029. Now, here's your dilemma. You have two strikes. We're only 11 away from the money. The 12 is still up there, you know, somewhere. If you pass, Rob's going to get a shot at grabbing that money. If you roll the dice and you roll a seven, and there are still five of them up there, then you'll be out of the game and Rob wins that way. What are you going to do? I'd like to pass it to Rob. Okay, she's going to save that last strike. Can't say as I blame you. Rob? Todd, I'll pick number four. Let's go with number four. We're 11 away from the money. Does number four bring us closer to it? No, it gets you your first strike. All right, Carissa, back to you. I'd like to choose number three. Number three. Is Carissa still in the game, or does Rob get that cash with number three? You're still in it? Look at you. Oh, you brought us within one. Carissa, she likes to keep everybody sitting right there on the edge of the seat. That's what she's trying to do. You brought us to within one dollar. Now, Carissa, you made things tougher on yourself here, if you ask me. More dramatic, certainly. Anything but a seven 
will get you that money. There are still four sevens on the board. What are you going to do? I'll play. You're going to play? Okay. I'd like to choose number 13. Number 13. Who's going to get that cash? Is it Carissa or Rob? It is Carissa with a four. Yvonne leaves us with $1,100. Rob leaves us with $1,200. And Carissa is one step closer to the money and one step closer to that trip to Jamaica with $7,043. I think that would cover it right there, quite frankly. Folks, you stay right back there. We're going to play one for the money after this. Don't go away. Each of our remaining players has selected two cards. We've revealed one and rearranged the players from low card to high card. Only the player with the highest two card total stays in the game. Now we'll start with Bob from New Hampshire. Your second card is a king for a total of 12. Herman, you need a seven or higher to take the lead. You've got the lead with 16. John, you'll need a nine or higher to take the lead. You've got a three, not enough, John. Jackie, you need an eight or better to take the lead. You've got the lead with 17. Charles, you'll need an eight or higher to take the lead. You've got a six. And not enough, Charles. Nicole, you'll need an eight or better to take the lead. You've got a five. Thanks for playing, Nicole. Phil, you'll need an eight or higher to take the lead. You've got the lead with 20. Lisa, you'll need a 10 or better to win this game. You've got the game. Lisa McCarthy from Connecticut, you're in the game. On Powerball, instant millionaire. And while Lisa's making her way to the stage, let me take this moment to remind you folks that even the players that don't make it onto the stage are still winners. Everybody gets that trip to Las Vegas. They get picked up in limousines. They get to stay here at the Venetian, live the high life for a while. And it's a good time, isn't it, Lisa? Sure is. You've been enjoying your stay? Having a great time. Venetian's a beautiful place, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's very nice. All right. Well, good. We are pleased to have you here. You're representing Connecticut. And I hope the good times continue with this game right here. It is one for the money. And this is where we hide those five Powerballs there, see? And then you three have to go and find them. Whoever finds the fifth Powerball or the last player left in the game will go on to play for $1 million. Dave, let's start with you. Where's that first Powerball? Under number 12. Is there a Powerball under number 12? Yes, there's the first one. You gonna look for the second one or pass to Carissa? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass you to Carissa. All right, Carissa, where's that second Powerball? Number 13. Is there a Powerball under number 13? No, got your first strike, three strikes, and you're out. Lisa? I'll take number three, Todd. Number three it is. Looking for the second Powerball. Did Lisa find it? No, she got her first strike. Dave, back to you. Uh, let me have a number eight, please. Eight it is. Let's go with number eight. Do we have our second Powerball? No. Strike for Dave. Back to you, Carissa. I'd like to choose number nine. Number nine. We'll light up number nine. Is there a Powerball under there? No. You got your second strike, Carissa and Lisa. I'll pick number one, Todd. Let's go with number one. Got to be a Powerball under here somewhere. Is there one underneath number one? Yes. There it is. Two down, three to go. Lisa, you going to look for the next one or pass to Dave? I'm going to pass to Dave. Back to you, Dave. Where's that third Powerball? Uh, number 10. Let's go. Number 10. Is there a Powerball under number 10? No. You got your second strike. Now, Carissa, you have two strikes, too, and you need to be careful here. Find a Powerball or you are out of this game and out of the running for the money. I'd like to choose number six. Number six. Is Carissa in or out with number six? She is still in it with the third Powerball. Two Powerballs remaining. You're going to take a chance and look for the fourth one, or you're going to save that last strike, pass to Lisa, and hope that she or Dave don't find it. I'm going to pass to Lisa. All right, Lisa, where's that fourth one? I'll play number four, Todd. Number four it is. Is there a Powerball under number four? No. You got your second strike. All right, Dave, you have two strikes, four spaces remaining on the board, two Powerballs left. Where's that fourth one? Number five. Number five. Is Dave in or out of this game? He is still in it. Now, Dave, you're the one that found himself in the interesting situation here. We have three spaces left, one Powerball. You have two strikes. 
Whoever finds that last Powerball will play for one million dollars. You're gonna take a shot and look for it, or pass and hope that the ladies don't find it. I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Let me have number two. Number two. Let's find out if Dave from Pennsylvania is gonna play for one million dollars. No. Got your third strike, Dave. Had to take the shot, though. Carissa, 50-50 here. Either you or Lisa are going to play for $1 million, and it all hangs on the number that you choose. Is it number 7 or number 11? I'm going to choose number 11. Number 11. Tell us who's playing for $1 million. It is you, Carissa. Carissa's going to play for a million bucks. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Lisa. And folks, don't you miss out on the action. It all happens right after this. Stay there. Welcome back to Powerball Instant Millionaire. This young lady right here is Carissa Hayes from Boone, Iowa, and she is ready to win some money. She's already won enough to go to Jamaica and back three or four times, I think, but now she wants to get down to business, and this is how she can do just that. Carissa, take a look right over there. Seven dollar signs and two X's behind the letters in the word Powerball. We'll take the $1,000 you just won and double your money for every dollar sign you find. You find all seven of them without finding an X, you are an instant millionaire. Sound good to you? Excellent. She likes that, all right? Let's hide the dollar signs and the X's. The board is ready. Let's play instant millionaire. You've got $1,000. Pick a letter. Let's turn it into $2,000. I'd like to choose a B. The B, please. We'll light it up. Did your $1,000 just become $2,000? Yes, it did. You now have $2,000. Take another letter for me, Carissa. Let's turn it into four. I'd like to choose a W. The W. We will light up the W and see if you just turned your $2,000 into $4,000. And you did. You're up to $4,000. Let's do it again. Pick another letter for me. I'd like to choose an L. Which L would you like? The first one. The first L, please. Did Carissa just turn $4,000 into $8,000? Yes, she did. Up to $8,000. Let's do it again. What letter looks good to you now? A P. We'll go to the P. Let's light it up and see if you just turned $8,000 into $16,000. Oh, it's one of those X's. Now, the million dollars is out of play here, okay? But the game is not over. You have $8,000. And if you want, you can say, Todd, that's enough for me. We'll give you the $8,000. You can walk away. But if you want to keep on playing, We'll double your money for every dollar sign you find. Just know if you come across the other X, we take away half. You want to play or walk with your money? I'd like to play. Let's play. All right, pick a letter. The last L. The last L. We'll light it up and find out if that L is worth $16,000 or $4,000. Carissa, it is worth $16,000. You can walk away here or we can keep going. I'm going to play. She wants to go again. Which letter looks good to you? The A. The A. Let's light up the A and find out if you've got $32,000 or $8,000. You've got $8,000. Let's see the other dollar signs here. They are up there behind the O, the E, and the R. And to that $8,000, we add the previous winnings, which means you leave it with $16,043. Not too bad, young lady. Thank you very much. And thank you, folks. Join us next time when another lucky lottery player like Carissa tries to become an instant millionaire. We'll see you then. All right. Yeah.